Welcome back. In this video, we're going to cover the exercise, Set Up the Platform. Our objectives for this exercise are first, to start a LifeRay DXP instance, and second, to prepare the instance to be used as a platform for the Livingston Hotels and Resorts Organization. The first step of this exercise is to create a LifeRay directory where you'll unzip your LifeRay bundle. Then you'll start your LifeRay bundle. Once LifeRay has started, you'll deploy your LifeRay DXP activation key. Then you'll open your web browser, navigate to LifeRay, and complete the LifeRay setup wizard. As a bonus exercise, after you've completed the setup wizard, you can explore LifeRay DXP's user interface, open the LifeRay menu, and click through the panels. You can also try to add a site to the platform. Name the site Livingston Test and try to navigate between it and the default site. Open your web browser and navigate to LifeRay. Make sure that you are signed in as an administrator. Here I've signed in as Josiah Copeland, the default admin user we created in our previous video. And open the LifeRay menu. Click on the site selector in the site administration menu. Click on my sites to see all the sites that you can navigate to and choose the global site. Go to Site Builder, Page Templates. You'll see the global page templates here already, Search, Wiki, and Blog. Click the Add icon in the top right corner. Type Hotel Landing Page as the name. Type a landing page for the various hotel and resort locations. For the description, and click the Save button. Now we need to configure the page template. Click on the new Hotel Landing Page template. This will take you to the new template page. Click on the Configure Page icon at the top right. The configure page icon is this gear icon here. Choose the one to one column layout template from the grid of options and click save. Now click the back button at the top bar. And now we need to add language and content widgets to the page template. Click on the add icon in the top right corner of the page. That's the plus button here. Drop a web content display portlet on the page. And add a second one to the left column below the first one. You can drag the web content display portlet to the desired location. Next, add an asset publisher and place it in the right column next to the web content display that we just added. And lastly, drop a language selector and place it at the bottom of the page. Now that you've added the applications to the page template, click on the back button. Now it's time to create a second page template. Click the add button in the top right corner. We're going to name this page asset publisher page. And we're going to enter a widget page for displaying a specific type of content. And click Save. Now we're going to configure the new page template. Click on the Asset Publisher page template that you just created. Here's the Asset Publisher page template. Click on the Configure Page icon, the gear icon. Choose one column from the grid of options and click Save and then click on the back button. Now we'd like to add the Asset Publisher widget to the template. To do so, click the Add button at the top right corner. 
Start typing the name of the asset publisher, drag it onto the page, and click the back button. Lastly, we're going to create a page with the asset publisher page template we just created. Open the LifeRay menu, click on the site selector, and navigate back to the Livingston Hotels and Resorts site. Go to Site Builder Pages in the Site Administration panel. Click the Add button next to Public Pages. Go to the Global Templates tab. You should see the three default page templates plus the two that we just added. So the two we added are the Asset Publisher page here and the Hotel Landing page here. Choose the Asset Publisher page. Type Livingston Gallery for the name and click Save. 